Have you ever been up at the end of the set and you were not able to close it out, that set, or even the match? If you said, have I ever? Well, join the club. Here are a few tips to close out a match when you're getting tight. The first thing that you have to understand is that it's totally normal to get nervous. It's a super high pressure situation. It's all eyes are on you. And even if nobody's watching, you judge yourself. And most of the time, we're good enough just by ourselves to either tear ourselves down or to build ourselves back up. So what happens during crunch time? My body gets tight. Whereas before I was fluidly swinging, I was having good round motions. Now I'm all choppy, I'm shanking, I'm miss hitting the ball, I can't move. I feel like I'm weighing five tons and the racket is about eight pounds. My breathing goes really shallow and my heart rate goes absolute nuts. And that is oftentimes we feel in our throat, my breathing feels constricted. So what can you do about that? Number one, slow down because you're experiencing what every human being experiences when they're in the fight, flight, or freeze response, or just simply stress response. So slow it down, slow it down. Take a couple of really deep breaths and know that if you just missed a ball, let's say it's five all in the tie break in the third set, and you just finished a ball, it's very natural that you want to get ready and play the next point because it feels uncomfortable to be in that pressure situation. So slow down, take a couple of deep breaths. I'd rather have you get a couple of angry glares from your opponent when you're slowing the match down a little bit within reason, don't pull a rough on us, than cooperating into a loss by rushing. What happens mentally when we're under stress? Loss of focus. Have you ever given a presentation and you had it all practiced, everything, and then there were 50 people that you had to present to, and when you were done, it was like, oh my God, I totally forgot slide two. You forgot information. That is when you're under stress. So in tennis, that could be, you're literally forgetting your game plan. So whereas before you were targeting your opponent's backhand, all of a sudden, you're playing to their forehand, which is their strengths. Um, case in point, an example from my own career, I played Mary Pierce in 1998, won the second set by relentlessly actually playing her forehand because her forehand was worse. I twisted, actually. I fell over, twisted my ankle, nothing really happened, but for two, three minutes I lost focus and it was a super stressful situation. And guess what? I'm starting to play her back in again. Three minutes later, I'm realizing what I'm doing, but by that time I had already gotten a break. So it goes that quick and that is normal when you're under pressure. So ideally, if you were up and you played in a certain way, analyze real quickly if you have changed your game style. Because all of a sudden, instead of stepping in, instead of dictating the point, guess what? We're waiting for them to miss. And that's not how we got into our lead. So if you can, stay the course. If you feel totally not working, can't do it anymore, play high percentage tennis. And that means high net clearance, play the inner third of the court and move like crazy. Because when we get scared, when we get angry, when we get frustrated, we get tight. So go out there, bounce around, shake your arms out a little bit, deep breathing. All that everybody's gonna see is an athlete making adjustments. What were some of the things that you did successfully to dig yourself out of a hole like that? Or if you weren't successful, what are the things that you would like to do differently next time? Let me know down in the comments, I wanna hear from you.